Hello, my name is Rusenica. Welcome to my casual YouTube channel. This is where I talk about anything casual or monumental in relation to life or and life's events <laughs> uh, with a concentration in pop culture topics. But today we're just going to be talking about life and my embarrassment of sometimes what it's like to have the immigrant experience. And I do just want to say, I just need people to hear me out, okay? I feel like an imposter when I say things like, yes, as an immigrant, or being an immigrant, or I'm an immigrant. Like, it's hard for me to speak as an immigrant because I'm adopted. Not only am I adopted, adopted and moved around, I have white American family members. Like, my parents are white Americans, my siblings are white Amer Americans, minus my brother who's also adopted from Uganda. And we pretty much have lived in America on and off for the past several years. So it's like my story of my immigration is very different than I feel like the kind of like typical more popular story of somebody moving here and like them and their family kind of having like no resources, no connections, no nothing. So I do just want to say that I am not the typical immigrant experience. But I feel like the way that people perceive me and even still talk to me even now is like a similar, I feel like I get similar reactions and similar, have ex similar experiences to, p to other immigrants. Because this is kind of a more complex topic and it's like simply from my heart, I might turn off the comments because I feel like they're going to be people dedicated to misunderstanding me because I've labeled this video, I've titled it something that's a little bit like something that needs to be understood so you can actually get it as opposed to oh she's embarrassed of being an immigrant because africans are like poor and dirt you know it's like i don't want to hear i don't want to hear the ignorance because i feel like a lot of ignorant people flock to titles that are provoke a strong response and they don't like actually listen to my points anyway we'll see if i actually do i probably will i had an experience this morning that made me feel very and I don't want to say this, but it made me feel a little othered. It made me feel a little bit embarrassed of the immigrant experience. Not because I'm embarrassed of being an African and living in America and being an Americanized immigrant. I was in an Uber. <laughs> and this Uber was very kind, very respectful, very much just your regular everyday retired Uber driver who's just like driving for a little extra cash and like is trying to just fill his time you know what i mean um older guy of course white of course <laughs> he we were just like talking about random little things like oh why are you taking the trip why are you blah, 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 blah. typical everyday topics and then he's like so where are you originally from and i don't personally find that that offensive of a question because i've got that question giving a va like a, a legitimate response of oh i'm from uganda because i'm legit well, I always say I was born and adopted in Uganda because I don't really feel like I'm from Uganda because I didn't live there for more than like four years. I like, I don't have that connection other than the fact that it carries me everywhere because I am a Ugandan looking woman, you know? So I sometimes feel uncomfortable saying like, oh, I'm from Uganda because it's like I didn't live there for that long. I'm very Ugandan presenting, but I don't authentically feel connected to that place. So I always say I'm born and adopted from there. And he was like, oh, okay. And then I think we like talked about other things. And then he went back to me talking about the fact that I was born and adopted. And he was like, so how long? And it was annoying because <laughs> I liked that I was born and adopted. My parents are American. I had like been working at the, the school that I work at for like a couple years. And then he went back to um, like, so how long have you like been here? And I was like, well, and I kind of didn't want to get into the specifics because I have moved around a lot. And it just is like annoying to be like, well, in kindergarten, I, <laughs> well, I was actually born and adopted in Uganda. And then in kindergarten, I lived in uh, Oklahoma. And then from there, I lived in Rwanda. Wow, wild. And then from Rwanda, I went back to Oklahoma. And then I went from Oklahoma to Rwanda again. And then I like, ugh, it's so I just was like, on and off, I've been in America for pretty much all of my life, you know, it's like, there's some things that I just cannot get into authentically with people. If you are not like, actively dedicatedly listening and i feel as though we're both getting value out of the conversation you know what like it's so exhausting sometimes 
the other day I lied to somebody who'd asked me um if I he was somebody was like are you East African and I was like no <laughs> don't lie to people <laughs> but I just sometimes I'm not in the mood to like go through my life story with people because it's like I know you're gonna have this question and it's either gonna go well or it's not and I don't ha have the energy in my body to elaborate on things so sometimes I just don't get into it <sighs> don't lie to people lying is bad but sometimes I just I like that just was true to me at that moment anyway um so this guy had asked me like oh how long, how long have you been living here and I was just like I've been living here on and off for like pretty much all of my life and that is pretty much a true answer it's pretty true the first time I stepped foot in America I think I was like a baby right mom I don't know um uh, my mom can correct me in the comments that aren't even enabled but I think I said like oh but I got my citizenship here when I was like five or six or something I was like really young when I got my citizenship it started off okay because I was like oh these are just natural questions that like Americans have sometimes for immigrants like if you clearly look like you're maybe from another country which is also another thing in itself because it's like I can I see why people who are who maybe have immigrant parents and then also themselves look like they're not from America will be offended that, by that because a lot of people who have immigrant parents are born here so in a lot of ways it's like annoying and stupid for you to be like so where are you originally from or where are you really from or not mo yeah most Americans don't immigrate from America to be like so in a lot of ways I do find that it could be viewed as offensive I don't take offense to it because I'm from somewhere else, but I could see that it being like, I'm literally, I literally was born in Brooklyn. Like, so then he asked me like, um, okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. He asked me, uh, where you, where you originally from? And I went off on a tangent. And then he was like, uh, did they teach you English? <laughs> After I, he's like, did you teach you, te did, did they teach you English in Uganda? Your English is excellent. And I was like, oh my God, listen. I understand why people ask me questions like that. I understand why people ask me questions like that um, because I think a lot of Americans do not realize that English is like one of the top five languages that is spoke in so many countries. Um, but it's like annoying because it's like, I didn't need you to give me like a little pat on the back for how good my English is. I'm annoyed because I just told you my I was born and adopted from America, from Americans. <laughs> Um, I've lived here on and off my whole entire life, like two hints as to like why my English might be so good. And then also I would not have learned English. Like, it's just like annoying. Like, I just feel like people don't do the work to put context clues, to get clues together and then just like give ignorant responses. And it's not their fault because I expect, I expect people to be ignorant. But that's why it's embarrassing. That is why it's embarrassing. Because... I feel like as an immigrant, you deal with a lot of people that ask you, like, I don't know, questions that you just are not in the mood to be asked or ask you things that are, like, kind of invasive. Like, even after that, after I was like, well, I mean, I've been living in America on and off for my whole entire life and my parents are white Americans. I didn't say white. I think I just said, like, Americans. Um, so it's a, just a different experience for me. So I've li been speaking English all, all my life, which is, like, also annoying because, like, English is the only language I've ever known. And the way that other people shame me for doing, for saying like, oh yeah, I want the only English. It's like, how? How have you? Because my parents are white Americans. You're giving answers. And from their view of, oh, what an immigrant is, it's like, ask them where they're originally from. Ask them how they learned English. And then he asked me um, if my husband is also from here, which is like weird in my opinion. I think that's just we. I just feel like, Americans are ask used to asking such silly questions that really don't that really don't give you a lot of context into who a person is honestly that's very shallow um and it's like embarrassing because it's like you would probably ask this to like any other immigrant but not realize like all of our stories are incredibly different and yet you have a template for like most of us you know I don't know. And then it made me think about the fact that, like, what if other people in my office have thought this about me? It's, like, kind of weird when, like, Americans make conversation as it relates to my experience with being an immigrant. I feel like they ask a lot of weird questions that 
I don't, I just feel uncomfortable by. I just feel like a little embarrassed by the fact that somebody just saw me, saw that I was not an American, but yet I have explained to you, I've lived it here for like a decent amount of time and then proceeded to ask me things that like don't apply to me. Yeah, when people say your English is so good. I don't like that because I grew up, I lived in Rwanda from first grade to third grade, fifth and sixth grade. And most of my friends were multilingual unless they were missionary kids. The missionary kids typically only spoke English and they could pick up on phrases or other words from another language. But most Rwandans, and I would even venture to say Ugandans, know multiple languages. And I feel like America is so behind in the way that like they don't realize people are multilingual everywhere. And it's kind of like a standard for a lot of countries. I don't know, even, I, I don't know, I, I just feel like, I feel like it's annoying because I understand where it comes from, but at the same time, just think a little bit, think a little bit before you say things that, I don't know, you've been like programmed to say or that you like heard one time and thought would be like an interesting question. <laughs> People just kind of annoy the crap out of me sometimes. And it wasn't even a bad conversation. He wasn't being disrespectful. He was being very kind. He's just a regular everyday guy. And at the end of the conversation, he did, he, he like did come to that realization like, oh, you're just about American as bad American as I am. I was like, yeah, like I probably have been to more states, more places than you have. It takes so much work as somebody who's not born in America to understand how to operate in another culture as well as American culture. And the way that... The questions we get are um, pointed, pointed? <laughs> what the heck does that mean? The questions that we get are like, like even being like, your English is excellent. Yeah, d I know my English is excellent. I know that. It just, it just feels like when people see immigrants, hear immigrants, whatever, act to, talk to immigrants is like, like we're dumber than we are. Or like we haven't, I don't know, studied different facets of different cultures and communication and that we don't like adhere to that like even people talk a little bit with their and make their language more simple towards immigrants I'm like they're never going to learn the way that you speak English if you speak it in a different more dumbed down way there's something embarrassing about that the otherness the presenting like a non-American in America with other Americans anyway if you'd like to let me know how you feel about this, I don't know, comment on another video because I'm not opening the comments of this one. I'm not. So, yeah, that's really all I have. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever time of day it is, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night.